that was the curtain raiser, and now for the big match. In its submission to an official review of digital broadcasting regulation, TVNZ has put up the bomb, calling for a breakup of Sky TV. Why? Because the pay provider has rights to nearly all major sports cricket, football, racing, golf, basketball, rowing, and athletics, and of course, the rugby. Sky's most recent win was the rights to the 2012 Olympics. TVNZ has this year's Games and will be spending a portion of its $15 million annual charter funding on its production. Broadcasting Minister Trevor Mallard is not pleased. But TVNZ says New Zealanders face a $14 a month sports tax if they want to see these events live. It wants Sky split into at least two businesses, one to make and buy programmes, the other to run its transmission network. TV Works, TV3 Zona, wants Sky to be forced to sell its free-to-air channel Prime. So, no shortage of accusations and solutions, but what's the reality? Joining us are Peter Parasini, TVNZ's Head of Corporate Affairs and former General Manager of Communications at the New Zealand Rugby Union. Sunday Star Times business columnist Tim Hunter, who wrote last week that... Sky is winning, so TVNZ wants to change the rules. And Phil Smith, who built then sold his TV company Uplink to the multinational sports world and has seen the global sports rights scene up close. Peter, if we could start with you, because you guys have been making all the noise. TVNZ has been framing this as, as a, an issue of the public right. But I don't see anyone in the streets marching because the rugby's on Sky. It's really more a commercial issue for you guys, isn't it? Oh, it's a broader issue than that for us. I mean, the, the government's doing its biggest ever review of broadcasting regulations in New Zealand. And the industry's been asked to comment on a whole range of issues. And, and we've done that. We've produced two submissions totaling about you know, 80 pages. And we talk about network issues, funding issues, regulator issues... And, and, uh, and but this like one's popped price. out, hasn't Absolutely. It? It's the sexy issue for the media to grab hold of, and that's fine. You know, and and we, we believe that, that in New Zealand, you know, New Zealanders love their sport. They, they, the, the, they this seems a bit disin to disingenuous to say that it's just popped out, though. There's, there's a PR push going on, isn't there? And you, you've got commercial negotiations with Sky in the back of your heads. No, this is genuinely about the framework for the industry going for the next 10, 20 years. It's quite critical that we as a country decide what sort of environment we want for broadcasting in this country. Um, at the moment, there are no rules. I mean, it would be great to have some rules and to have a referee to, to referee the game, but at the moment, we don't have them. And, and sports, sports rights is a, is, a, is, a, is a topical issue. At the moment, um, Sky has rights to, to most sports. And we think Sky actually does a very good... Uh, 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 plays a very good game. You know, they're very good broadcasters. But there are some sports, we think, that are iconic to New Zealanders, that are important to us as New Zealanders, and we think they should also be available on free-to-air television, either TVNZ or MediaWorks TV3 zoners. We think that we should be looking to other countries. Other countries have arrangements where free-to-air broadcasters get to show sporting events of, of national importance. In Britain, for example, um, the Grand National, the FA Cup. And they, they don't always work out well. Anyway, no, we, we, we have to go to a break now and we'll hear from the rest of the panel after that. We'll be back soon.